how elevating was 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 that particular experience of 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 that that entire journey of 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 writing the film in a way this was a guy jiski matlab he is a father of james bond yaar james bond to bachcha nikla iske samne right he was absolutely incredible that must be really um, i think a sad aspect of his of, of his life but the the tenacious part that you've said that he mm-hmm. survived yeah which is a great reflection of the efficiency of our judiciary <laughs> so for a it is for a common man mm-hmm. who's got no resources at his hand right. for him to go to the supreme court reach out and fight against the system get himself proved innocent only a genius can do that how has it personally changed you madhavan before meeting nambi narayanan is a very different madhavan after meeting nambi narayanan hi this is r madhavan and you are watching bollywood hangama एक महान आदमी ने कहा है कि एक्सेलेंस को परस्यू करो सक्सेस झक मार के पीछे आएगी और आज हमारे साथ में एक ऐसी हस्ती हैं जो कि कुछ हद तक उस सेंटिमेंट से बहुत ही करीबी तौर पे जुड़े हुए थे एंड नाउ ही इज ब्रिंगिंग दैट टू द फोर एज फार एज हिज डेब्यू डायरेक्टोरियल वेंचर इज एज वेल एज कंसर्न आर मातवन बहुत बहुत स्वागत आपका बॉलीवुड गांव पे थैंक यू वेरी मच तो ये आई थिंक कहीं ना कहीं सीड तो राजू ईरानी ने आपके माइंड में शायद प्लांट किया था ऐसा मुझे लगता है काफ़ी काफ़ी साल पहले कि जो एक्सेलेंस को जो परस्यू करने के एक जो ज़रूरत है वो शायद क्या कह सकते हैं कि वहीं से आया है आ, ये कहना ठीक नहीं होगा क्योंकि इससे पहले मैं उसको परस्यू करा था इसीलिए तो मैं राजकुमार हिरानी तक पहुँच पाया ऑफकोर्स बट मे बी आई थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ वर्ड्स आई थिंक मे बी इट वॉज आई थिंक पुटिंग दी एफर्ट्स इन टू into explainable and easy words is what rajkumar hirani did and right. sometimes those words help you realize that this exactly what you've been doing for the longest time right because when you say that um, rocketry is a film that uh, you yourself like are admitting it is the budget is beyond like what what you think is is your market value and it is more than a film so i think you are somewhere pursuing the the excellence factor and jis tarike se um, reports hain especially from from tamil Uh, market i think uh, i think it's it's going to achieve uh, what what you guys have been looking for so um this uh, film hasn't been shown in tamil yet to anybody but we have the reports from khans and we have the reports from people who have seen it over here and I, on that report i will tell you that this hindi film is not going to embarrass me at least as my first directorial debut so right before this uh, this interview i spoke to someone um who is um from malayalam industry and okay. who has seen the film to quite an extent as well really so that is i'm getting the insider's perspective that um it's 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 um, from box box office perspective tamil is is something that is looking God really is. good and hindi we'll see yeah. how it goes all right uh now when you when you're turning a director and uh, the sort of efforts that you've put in, in in into making it in terms of scripting it and then you rewrote a lot of stuff because you realize that there's so many more uh, insights into it what what mr nambi told you how elevating was 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 that particular experience of 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 that that entire journey of 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 writing the film in a way see i haven't written much i've never written a, a film per se i've written only uh, assisted with screen plays in most of my projects but when i met nambi narayan sir i was intrigued by the fact that he was sitting there only talking about the case you know about how he was wronged how he this is a useless case and how it was uh, so you know unreasonable that they would put something like him that to him and almost uh, kill him in jail and uh, torture him and beat him and i said sir but that's all beyond you you know it's all in the past they've already proved that you're innocent and they've vindicated you and he said to hell with that you know i'm innocent i know i'm innocent the court knows i'm innocent but go to google and put my name and sure enough when you put his name it says isro spy case nambi narayanan so for somebody uh, and his whole family to be always thought of as a spy case family it's not right and i understood the angst that he had but what shocked me more was the fact that he was given the padma bhushan and nobody knows why he got the padma bhushan in fact he was not talking about it he had written a book on his life and he had not mentioned his achievements but when the when when his achievements came to light when i came to know what he did as the first ivy league uh, scientist from india in princeton under professor luigi crocco or the fact that he went to france with 52 scientists or the fact that he was in scotland or when he went to russia and uh, you know when the ussr was breaking down and smuggled the engines that we were supposed to due to come to india and they were not giving it to him because of american sanctions this was a guy jiski matlab he is a father of james bond yaar james bond to bachcha nikla iske samne right he was absolutely incredible and there is no more cinematic story than nambi narayan's life story in fact i had to take out facts from his film instead of taking liberties at uh, cinematic liberties i had to take out facts from his film 
to make it palatable ki, as a believable story. So, uh, and then the, his highest achievement is he made a rocket engine called the Vikas engine, which has the uh, distinction of never having failed. And nobody knows about Dr. Nabinarana. Liquid and engine as well for the mass mission. I mean. that it's called the Vikas engine. Okay. It's the liquid propulsion engine. And uh, it is an engine that, uh, that ISRO cannot do without for any mission of theirs because it has a distinction of being the only engine that has never failed. So the missions or the satellites might have failed, but not his engine. So Yar, it was uh, something that was so compelling that I decided to write it. And more importantly, because I understood the, I'm technically inclined, I'm very engineeringly involved. So I understood the beauty of his engine. And to understand that rocket uh, science and to understand that engine and explain it to the public, I thought you needed a medium that knew both. And that's why I wrote it. All right. And uh, um, the efforts that, that you have put into it, like from just uh, going from 29 to 80, apparently you've not used any prosthetics. It's like, this is, this, is, this is what filmmaking is all about, the craziness? Yeah, I think the joy of it. once the uh, idea set into our mind, and not just me, my entire team, then we wanted to make sure that there's not, not a false note in the film. Uh, about a story that, you know, might make the audience believe that some liberties were taken. And one of the things that would constitute to that is, ki yaar, hum jo look hai, it has to be original. So, no prosthetics was used to make people look either 29 or 80 or 79. We didn't use graphics to thin them down and we didn't use paddings to make them look heavier. We sat on the chair for like 18 hours and 14 hours to get our hair color to look exactly like Nambinaran or the other scientists to look like the older versions. And, uh, you know, it was well researched. It took us about two years to research it so that it doesn't look like, uh, you know, a false note. At the same time, we're not able to, we're not taking risks with our health. And thankfully, it all panned out very well. So, yeah, we are a film where have, we haven't used prosthetics. You started off writing a film uh, which you feel that it's like a James Bond sort of spy thriller and um, maybe maybe uh, not, not getting into the surface of it. And gradually, you got the entire detailing right uh, once, once, you, once you showed him the, the first script. Now, um, how, how has it personally changed you? Oh, that's a very good question. I think Madhavan before meeting Nambi Narayanan is a very different Madhavan after meeting Nambi Narayanan. Uh, you know, I meet him and uh, a lot of his philosophies have rubbed off, you know, and he's a fighter, you know. He's a decent, sweet, loving man when you have to be, but you rub him the wrong way and if he believes in something, he will bulldoze you. And he will walk over all, all over you because he is a genius and he has done that, you know. And sometimes, like I've said in the trailer, he's an arrogant, uh, impatient, uh, you know, cruel almost. So, in fact, let me tell you, when I went and met him and I wanted to do his story, unlike homages that are paid in the industry in terms of when you make a, a biopic, I told him, if you think I'm one of those guys who's going to make you a Mariada Purshottam and paint you on the light that you have all done nice thing and the light signs out of your one out of his or the other of yours, I want to know, I want you to know that I'm not one of those filmmakers. So he was a 75 year old man and I said, tell me what your worst qualities are. Tell me what your inhuman qualities are. Tell me what, have you, did you really sleep around with a Maldivian woman? Did you sleep around with any other woman? Tell me, did you have uh, uh, things that people will have to, because unless I show that aspect of yours in the film, they will not believe the rest of the stuff that you've achieved. Right. And a 75 year old man, you expect him to say, ki, bhai, tamid se baat karo. Aapko pata hai, se baat karo. But that was not Nambi Narayan. He said, Aye, main aapko batata ki mere, mere kya hai. Let me tell you all the dark sides of my personality. And he told me. And he frightened me. He made a chill run down my sign. I could not believe the cruelty in that man. I do not believe the amount of tenacity he has to just do what it takes. I think I will also say that it's, it's also, we are lucky that his interest aligned with the interest of our nation. Hmm. And if that be a patriot, so be it. Because if it weren't, it would have been equally successful. So um, that is why it is. It became imperative for us to look like every one of the characters we're playing, so that everything we've shown in the film is absolutely true. No cinematic liberties. Right now, uh, in the in the teaser, there is this uh, line that um, is this analogy with with the dog and the, the fact that if you have to really uh, pull someone down and then just label him a, as a as a deshdroi. Now, uh, it is it is so ironical that the man who uh, who who did so much. Uh, maybe he, he lived a large part of his life uh, living under that, that shadow of, of doubt and uh, the fact that uh, he was tortured in the, the police station and, and all sorts of accusations the way they happened. So that must be, that must be really, um, I think, a sad aspect of his, of, of his life. But the, the tenacious part that you've said, that he <laughs> survived. He lived on to, to tell his own story, which is, which is fabulous. Yeah, which is a great reflection of the efficiency of our judiciary. So for a <laughs> it is. 
for a common man mm. who's got no resources at his hand right. for him to go to the Supreme Court, reach out and fight against the system, get himself proved innocent. Only a genius can do that. And then get a compensation by the, by the, the Constitution. The, the, the Supreme Court verdict changed itself to accommodate Dr. Nambi Narayan's uh, compensations. So those are, but all that is not in my film. The case is not in my film. I mean, the only reason why we have said that sometimes a man wronged is a nation wronged is because I didn't want to dwell on the case. I wanted India to know what they were missing in terms of a genius that we have not recognized. I didn't want the people involved in the case to get the limelight because I didn't want them to go down in the aisles of history. It was Nambi Narayan and all the way. And that is why uh, we stuck with it. It's an amazing tenacity he has. You know, imagine, my only regret is that I had to take out almost eight hours of story to accommodate a part of his life in a two and a half hour film. Hi, this is R. Madhavan and you are watching Bollywood Hangama.